Welcome to the Wicked Game Rank Collector, it's awesome that you're tuning in. So in this video I want to help you out how to set up the dual boot system that some of the Retro Pockets 2 doesn't have. The same with my version. I'm going to show you how you need to do this. Okay, when the system is booted up, it's highly possible that you're going to get the Android version, but you want to use the Retro menu, and that is most of the time the problem that it can't, because the app is not installed. So in this video, what we're going to do is just show you how you need to do this step by step. Okay, so what you need to do is go into the settings menu and activate your Wi-Fi connection because we're going to need it for this option. So when you connect it, turn it on. If it's an off position, connect with your Wi-Fi and you're ready to set up. In the next step, we're going to the apps over here. You need to scroll all the way down. Here we are at the right bottom corner, we're having the toolbox. That's what we're going to need. As you can see the last option, it says install Retroid Pocket app. Click by pressing A. It will instant download the file, it's very tiny, so it will be not a long download. Find version says that I already installed it, but I just wanted to show you how you need to do it. As you can see over here in the left bottom corner, we're having the Retroid app installed. It will ask you to reboot the system, and it will reboot into the Retroid app itself. And everything works, you can see the Retroid Pocket logo again. This takes quite some time before it's even going to boot up, so I will cut the video over here. Okay, so when it's in first timelines, you can see that we're having here the option for the language and time, some instructions, key layout, and quite some instructions how you need to navigate through the menu and how everything works. And when you're done, we're going to get the menu that is very similar to the Pandora Games 3D. Okay, so that's it. That's the only thing you need to do. Keep in mind that all the files are on the SD card. So if something wrong with the SD card, your Retroid Pocket will not boot up at all, or you will have some problems. So that's something you need to take in consideration. As you can see over here, we can navigate through the All List, the Retroid Pocket menu. You also have the option to search when you're pressing Start in the menu. As you can see, we can search for your games very easily. Holding the home button, it will bring you back to the menu over here. And this is very important to know because here we can set up the key settings if you have any issues. And from this menu, you also can boot into the Android version or basically reboot and go back to the Android edition. So that's it folks, that's the only thing what you need to do. Yeah, let me know in the comments if you have any questions, if you have any problems, I can see if I can make a video about it. I want to thank you for watching, consider subscribing. Hit the little bell, become one of the Wicked family, it would be great to have you here, and I will see you in the next video.